Hi everyone, it's Michelle with Crafty Roos and I am here today to share my Timu haul. I have got some really great dyes, lace, and some cute little uh, containers for um, sequins and beads and stuff to gift your crafty little friends. Alright guys, as you can see there's a ton here so we're going to go ahead and jump right in and get started. I picked up different colors of lace. Guys, this was each one of these were under a dollar. I picked up this beautiful brown, lavender, a little bit of a medium lavender. I picked up light pink, and I picked up this gorgeous coral or salmon color, this beautiful peach. I've got like a bright yellow and a lemon yellow. I have this beautiful blue this beautiful dark, uh, maybe like a, it's not really a teal, maybe it is, maybe it's a, a medium teal. I have this uh, light green, like a mint green, this beautiful red. I also picked up a beautiful burgundy, this gorgeous gray. I absolutely love this. And do you guys see the beautiful uh, print? And they're all exactly the same just different colors. Uh, this beautiful beige. Mm, not really beige. Maybe a uh, taupe. I'm not really good always with my colors. Cream. Navy. Baby blue. White. And black. I am so excited to have these for my stash and they are quite a bit. I forget how many yards are here, but I want to say maybe five yards, but for less than a dollar and all these color options, that was an amazing, amazing deal. So we're going to push those out of the way and then I'm going to show you the little containers I picked up. I picked up these little candy containers. Now, I was gifted a... Uh, Beautiful, beautiful, happy mail from Trina, and I will link her in the description box below. And she had put uh, a couple of these in there with little sequin mixes in them and then wrapped a little ribbon around it and tied it. And they were the cutest little candies. And I was like, I've got to find those. So I went on the hunt. So actually, um, I have Trina to thank for my finds here because I ended up finding these on Timu and found so many other things, as you can see. I picked up two of the clear, two of the pink, and then they also had a yellow, so I picked up two of the yellow. So these are so exciting to have because they are perfect for sharing your uh, sprinkle mixes, your uh, little polymer clay pieces, maybe some beads. Um, I just love them. And then guys, I found a bunch of dyes that I didn't have. And we all know that Timu's dyes are very inexpensive and they usually cut really, really well. I've only had a problem with a couple in the past. I found this adorable little gingerbread. I found this super cute little bunny rabbit and he's painting Easter eggs. I found this adorable little bunny and he's shaped like an egg. I found this super cute bumblebee. And guys, look at this. These are miniature, um, like Disney treats. I think these are so stinking cute and they're so small that they would be perfect to put on little embellishments just as little touches. I absolutely love those. And then here is a die for, uh, Oh my goodness, I can't even remember. A rosette. And it has the different edging that you could use on your rosette. And then I'm working on uh, an Alice in Wonderland journal. I've been making some embellishments for it. So once I'm finished with that, I'll share that with you guys. Um, and I found this die and I thought, how cute is this? It's got the playing cards. It's got the chess pieces. So I think that it would be really, really cute in my journal. And they're small, so I could use them, you know, uh, on embellishments. 
Then I found this absolutely adorable set of butterflies. And I'm going to open this one real quick because the sticker kind of takes up the picture. But look at, there's so many of them and they're tiny, but we all love those tiny little uh, pieces to add onto things. And this is one of them. I absolutely love this. Then I found this ant. And I don't know why, but I love cute little bugs. I'm not a, a real bug fan, but I do love the cute little bugs. And this little ant is just adorable. I really thought this was going to be smaller. And I was hoping that it was because I love to do uh, like little picnic scenes with the little ants go marching into the uh, watermelon or carrying it off somewhere. But I think these are so cute that I was excited to get that. And then this here is a little a tiny box. And... Um, I am going to be putting some of these together and showing them to you guys, cutting them out, letting you know what I think of them. So that will be one of them. And then I found the double jar set. This is a large jar. This is a small jar. They can be made into shakers and everybody could use these for anything. These could be made in so many different ways, guys. You could use them for kitchen recipes. You could use them if you had a firefly die and put little fireflies in there like you or out in the, the woods catching fireflies. Um, you could use it for uh, little scenes inside of them. I know that during Halloween, I do a ghost in a jar. This would be really cute for that. But um, I, I was so happy to find that. And then I found this little mushroom house dye. Super, super cute. This is adorable if you're doing gnomes, if you're doing a little fairy garden, if you're just doing a cutesy little doodle bug type themed thing, this would be cute with it. Just super cute. And then guys, I found this and I believe that this is also a little box. Um, I don't know why I'm saying I believe it is. I'm sure it is, but we'll see it once I get this put together. Then I found this little tiny uh, snowman. I think he is so stinking cute. I love how fat his little head is. Absolutely adorable. I found a little chunky pencil die, and I thought, how cute is that for little embellishments? I found, hello there. That's going to be cute for a card or even a bag tip topper. You could put that on a bag topper. Then I found this really cute set of dresses. Super, super fun. I love snow. I love snowflakes. I'm from Buffalo for you uh, that are new to my channel. And anytime I can find snowflakes, it's all about it. I gotta have it. Snowflakes, snowmen, two of my favorite things. So this has all different sized snowflakes and who couldn't have a good use for this in their stash? I mean, this is perfect. I absolutely love this one. Then I was able to find, uh, this is a little tree with uh, little gifts that go under it. And there's the ribbons and stuff that you can put on your gifts. It's small, but there again, if you're doing small embellishments, you want the smaller little dies to actually accent the things that you're creating. And this would even be just by itself a very cute little embellishment. This is a edge for a card, or you could use it as an edge for anything, an envelope, any anything that you would want an, a, a decorative edge. This is gorgeous. So I can't wait to try this out. I think it's very pretty. Then I end up found, finding, founding, I found it. <laughs> Happy birthday. And it's got the Mickey ears and the little Mickey pants. I absolutely love this. I'm working on um, scrapbooking uh, eventually my Disney World trip. And um, I've just been collecting Disney things uh, all this time to try to do that. And once I get enough stuff, I'm going to start it. So I'm happy to have that in my stash as well. And then I found this pocket set. And um, I love the idea of doing this. You could do this yourself. You don't have to have a die to make pockets and, and things like that. But it's so much easier when you do. And they come out so much uh, more perfect. And you don't have to take all the time to measure. So I'm really happy to have this in my stash of dies. And then I found this absolutely adorable little cradle. Now this is uh, made to be a little shaped uh, item. And once you put it together, you can use it as a party favor. And I think that's what it was intended for. But um, you could also use it if you were doing anything, uh, maybe a uh, baby themed something. 
it's just super, super cute. And to be able to use it for little mints or nuts at a, at a baby shower, just adorable. And I will be getting grandbabies, I'm sure, great grandbabies, I should say, because all of my grandbabies are growing up. But great grandbabies will be coming in the next few years or so, and it'll be nice to have that. And then here, guys, this is a little fall die set. It's got the coffee with the little sleeve that goes over it. It has a pie here and then different little leaves that you can use. And I thought, oh my goodness, I could not not get this one. I just, I fell in love as soon as I saw it. And then guys, here's another little box and this little box will fold up and then it looks like it'll be like uh, where you just open it. Like you could tie a ribbon to hold this closed once it's folded, but we'll see that again once I put some of these together. And then guys, back on the baby theme, I found a little shoe. And once this little shoe puts together, it's open uh, where you would put your foot into the shoe so you could fill that with little nuts or mints or something like this. But this could be made into little tennis shoes. Uh, all kinds of things could be done with this die, I think. I think it'll be a really fun uh, thing to play with and I can't wait to try this one. Then guys, I found a little Mickey box. Super cute. I also ended up getting this little suitcase. Now the suitcase just folds together and these are like the little tags that you would hang off of it if you were going somewhere, you know, with your name and information on it. And all of these are like the little stamps that you collect on your suitcase when you're out traveling. These are the embellishing pieces. These are the corners for your suitcase. Uh, we also have uh, a piece for the handle and then layering pieces for the, uh, the straps. Super darling, I love this. And then I found a set of smaller tags and a little pocket that the tags can fit into. And I absolutely love that. Once again, they're super easy to make, but it's always fun when you can just sit there and just slide it out really quick without having to think about it or print anything or anything like that. And then I found like a slimline die and I don't have any slimline dies. I'm, I'm, I'm working on that, but uh, this I believe is going to be like maybe my one of the first few that I have. I've only got maybe two or three. But this one, I loved the idea of it being a stripedy type because this is perfect for any time you're trying to do a candy theme or if you were doing um, a summery type thing, you know, green and yellow uh, or green and white, yellow and white, red and white, uh, like a little storefront theme. You could, I don't know, just do lots of things with this. I absolutely uh, liked this one, so I didn't want to pass it up. And then the last die that I picked up is this one here. And this again, you can make these on your own, but it's so much easier, like I said, to be able to just pop this out and run it through your machine and fold it up and you're good to go. And this makes a pocket and the pocket also has a lid that uh, will tuck, the flap will tuck into here. And then this is just a layering piece to go over it. So guys, I am so excited to have been able to pick up these things and I am very excited to get to try them out. And once I do use these dies, I will come back and share them with you guys so you guys can see um, what I thought of them. And again, guys, the lace and stuff, under a dollar for each package. So many colors to choose from. It's just wonderful to be able to just go to your stash and say, oh, there's a beautiful yellow for the, the little skirt that I'm making. Um, oh, wouldn't this be beautiful on a, uh, if you were doing the crepe paper, how everybody does the ruffles to take some of this and put it on your crepe paper and ruffle that up too. So you have that beautiful lace on top of the crepe paper. I'm going to be trying that. And then again, the cute little candy, uh, containers that I picked up to be able to use for happy mail. All right, guys, I thank you so very much for stopping by and watching my haul. I love you all so very, very much, and I appreciate each and every one of you. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my Timu haul, and I will be back with more hauls. I am getting ready to do an announcement for my next giveaway, and um, if you are returning to my channel, as always, you guys, I appreciate you so very much. I always appreciate you coming back to spend time with me. And again, I love you all so very much as well. Um, guys, I would hope if you're new to my channel that you would hit the subscribe button and become part of my YouTube family because I do love to spend uh, time with you guys. I do read all of the comments. I try to answer all of them. I am behind right now, but I will get caught up. I always do. And... Um, I just look forward to sharing uh, hauls with you guys, my crafty ideas with you guys, and my giveaways. 
All right, guys, I hope you're having a blessed weekend. I know I am. I'm always grateful every morning when I wake up breathing. It's a wonderful thing. And I just thank you guys all so very much for the time that you spend with me. I am just very grateful. All right, guys, have a wonderful day, a great weekend, and I will see you in the next video. All righty, bye-bye.